Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here, welcome to another KSP Fundamentals! And today we're going to learn the fundamental art, or science, or whatever, of docking. And you'll notice that behind me, the Kerber National Space Station has developed a spin, and there's a reason for that, and that's because that happens. Uh, <laughs> is a lot of times, things start spinning, and you start having trouble, and you want to fix that. And that's what we're going to do first. Um, if you have this problem, there are two ways to fix it. One, you can switch to the craft by hitting the the um, bracket keys that are usually next to your P key on the keyboard. You just hit those and you cycle between the ships. I'm hitting one over and over again, and you see that I'm jumping between the two ships. Now, if we jump to the Kerber National Space Station, you'll notice that Jeb left the computer off, which is bad. So we're going to hit the T key to turn the computer on. Now, that will slowly... This thing doesn't have very much attitude control, but you'll notice that that stopped the motion. That's awesome. That is perfect. Now, if we, if we turn the T key off again, though, and get this guy rotating again, I'm going to show you another way to do it, because not every time that you can come up to your space station, maybe there's nobody in it, you don't have a probe core, whatever, or you just don't want to leave your ship, you can also do a trick where you hit the fast forward key, which is the less than greater than symbols. So if we hit the fast forward key here, and then go back to unfast forward, the Kerber National Space Station is now not rotating anymore, which is pretty awesome. So... How do we dock with it? Well, I'll tell you. We're going to pick a docking port, and I figure, actually, you know what? We're going to pick the docking port on the other side of the station. Because we're going to make this as hard as possible. We're going to go to this docking port right up here. We're going to set this as our target. Now, the problem is, is we're on the wrong side. So, the first thing you want to do is get on the correct side, and I like to go into chase mode with this. I use the V key to get to these. Notice it says auto, free, orbital, and chase. Uh, I'll probably explain what all those modes mean eventually, but generally you want to be in auto mode unless you're doing something where you, need to, where you need to know what is up and what is down and what is left and what is right. Now, the space station is above us because we're in chase mode, so basically this matches the nav ball if you're looking at it from behind. So I can rotate my ship now, and I can go up, and there's the space station. Now what you want to do is you want to aim yourself we we need to first be on the on the correct side of the station from where we are. So we're gonna we're gonna aim ourselves this way. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a burn, not too much because we don't wanna we don't wanna go too crazy here. And we just wanna make sure that the yellow marker here that shows which direction we're going, and the purple marker which shows which direction the space station is, are not in line with each other because you don't wanna crash. So that we're we're not in any hurry. So we're gonna we're gonna do this slowly here. But I did use time warp to get to get going. And then as you pass your station, you want to flip your ship around. So that you are so that you are aimed retrograde again. You want to be in target mode. Make sure you click on this thing until it says target mode. And you want to be re aimed relative retrograde. And we're getting we're getting far enough away that I think we're safe here. This this looks like a pretty good thing. We just want to we want to be able to get lined up to this thing. So I'm going to use the shift key and the X key. I've got one finger on each. I hit shift and then X, and I'm watching my target velocity here, and I'm also watching the yellow marker on the nav ball. You want to be pretty much aimed directly at that as you go. Now, you notice I've, I've given myself a slight prograde, but that's okay. Now that we're on the correct side, we want to be lined up with it, and we're going to do a lot like we did in the beginner's uh, orbital um, uh, approach uh, section, where we're gonna we're gonna basically aim sideways. We're gonna burn this way so that we go this way, and then we're gonna we're gonna arrest that motion. And we're doing this all by eye. We're not really using the nav ball except for to get the the velocity here. So we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of velocity this way, and then we're gonna turn ourselves around. We're gonna go back. Now we're gonna use the nav ball to make sure we're right on that yellow marker. And you, you, sometimes you have to drag. Like notice, I'm trying to drag down, and it won't do it. So if you flip the, if you flip it around and then drag up, you can see that. And now all we care about is getting this, this thing roughly here on the screen, so that we know we're really close to it. And notice, I have not used any RCS yet. There is RCS on this, on this pod, and I will be using it at the end. But the, the less RCS you can use to do this, the more you can use when you actually need it. So we're just getting this really close. We're sidling in next to him here, and I'm going to hit, basically I'm doing the shift and, there we go, zero meters per second, and we're basically aimed perfectly at the, 
at the docking board. Now notice we're off a bit, but honestly I don't care. So, now what do we do? Now we turn on RCS because we don't want to we don't want to screw up and then we're also going to rotate ourselves just so it looks nice. You don't want to dock all cockeyed. Now I'm going to use my main engine to give myself a little bit of forward thrust just to see the maneuver no or the the prograde marker here. Now what we want to do is we want this prograde marker to be here. So you hit the I key and you notice that goes the wrong way. So I hit the K key. I actually did that on purpose. And then we've lost our prograde marker. So now we're going to go hit the H key, which goes forward. And then we're going to use the J and the L keys. We're also going to hit the caps lock key to turn on fine to fine mode. And you notice I hit the caps lock key. These all turned blue. Oh, geez. I just hit the shift key. Now I'm going to hit the... <laughs> That was scary. Uh, yes, I, I... Okay. Let's do this again. I hit the shift key by accident instead of the caps lock key. But uh, if you hit the caps lock key here, this turns orange, which means we're in we're in normal mode. If you hit the caps lock key again, it's going to turn blue, which means you're in, you're in fine-tune mode. And everything works about... I, it seems to be about half. But the nice thing is, is it's very easy to control where you're going. I'm using the I and the K keys to go up and down here. And then now we're basically aiming directly at our target. And we're moving forward at one meter per second. Now I'm going to use the H key to go forward to say, or sorry, not one meter per second, 0.1 meters per second. And then we're going to, we're, we're moving forward now at 0.2 meters per second, which is, seems really slow, to be honest, but we're playing a video game. <laughs> uh, the actual shuttle docking, I think 1.1 meter per second is fast for that. They go, they go centimeters per second. Also, you notice that, that we're off to the side a little bit, so I'm actually going to burn, so we're aiming directly at it. I used the J key there, just to use my RCS to go. Now notice, I didn't bring an RCS tank with this guy. He only has the RCS that was in the pod, and I've used barely 10% of it. Now you'll also notice that we're coming in a little cockeyed, but um, uh, the, the talking ports are actually pretty... Uh, how, do you, how do you say it? Um, they're, they're, they're pretty forgiving coming in cockeyed. But you could also, if you wanted to, rotate your ship a little bit just to get yourself aimed directly at the port. And we're just coming in really slowly. Very simply. We're doing we're doing tweaks as we go. Looks like we're coming in a little high, so I'm going to go a little low. And we are turning off the computer when you get really close. And let gravity, or let mag magnetism, I'm sorry, take hold. And then get docked. And we are now Officially docked to the Kerbo National Space Station. Very simple, very easy. Really quick to recap, get yourself on the correct side, then lighten yourself up using uh, the same trick we used in the orbital episode, which is you just get the get your target on your side, and as you come up, it's coming down, and then just slow yourself down when you're right next to it. Then aim at it, do a very slow burn. You don't want to be ever going more than a meter per second. Then, and only then, turn on your RCS, Keep your yellow prograde marker aimed at the blue, or I'm sorry, the purple uh, target marker of the target. By the way, you right-click your target and say set that as a target. We don't want to do that. Do the control from here. When you're when you're not connected to it, you can right-click any docking port and say control or say set this as my target, and then that's what that target indicator actually points to. Then slowly, slowly move yourself forward. So, like I said, less than one meter per second, probably less than 0.2 meters per second. Uh, get yourself aimed correctly, and then just slowly follow that yellow marker towards the target marker, and then dock. Um, and that's it. That's the easy way to get docked. There's really no, there's really no hard way. <laughs> D docking itself is the hard way, but once you once you've mastered those couple steps, it's actually quite simple. And now uh, Bill has come up. He's relieved Jeb. They're going to trade places. Jeb's going to come home on this thing, if I remember to put a parachute on it, which I didn't. So uh, maybe we'll send up a rescue craft. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any suggestions or uh, requests or questions or anything you want to say about this episode or, or any future or past episodes, please just come onto the YouTube page and comment. I love comments. And until next time, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next time, but maybe your suggestions or your questions will, uh, will dictate it. Until then, though, I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later.